What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Android app review, and in this case it's going to be the open source podcast client called Antenna Pod. So the reason I'm reviewing this app is because we recently got the news that Pocket Cast is being sold off by the consortium of companies that bought them, I want to say last year or the year before or so. So I got to thinking that if there's another um, more regularly updated podcast client for Android that works, that offers syncing and backup and that sort of stuff. And I remember that there was an app called AntennaPod that came out way back in the day and I enjoyed it at the time. So as it turns out, it continues to be updated and is available for free in the Android App Store and also or basically Google Play and also in a third party App Store repository called F-Droid. So I decided to give it a test to see how it holds up, so I'm subscribing, refreshing in the various settings. And overall, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So let's jump right into it. So when you launch the app, you get a few different features. It's a very minimalist and basic looking app so from here this layout is essentially the most difficult that you get out of it so um when you load it you can for me what i did was i did play around with the settings a little bit to begin with so things like the user interface you can set your theme uh, you can set your drawer um, or your menu option items so things like your queue subscription episodes subscription link and stuff like that so for example um, having um, your subscription uh, subscription link here along with the menu drawers is kind of redundant so you can do things like um, take out subscriptions so when you go back you don't have that but you still have your list here so you have that kind of um, interface to keep it nice and simple you can um, view the episode cover if your podcast episode sub supports it you can set your um, subscription order so by name counter no publication date um, or last update and things like that you can have a subscription counter if you want to view things like that um, filter and all that so there's a lot of features in the um, app itself um, so you can set your uh, notification buttons and all that so there's a lot of different customization options to make it full featured but easy to use so and that's something that i think was lost in um in the pocket cast update that a lot of people did not like so that's a bit of the flip side for why um, a user might enjoy this or if you're getting into the podcasting world and don't particularly like a difficult to use app so for example for me i while Google Podcast is good enough and has a good visual, is visually appealing, for me it is kind of disjointed and difficult to use because it's not really something that makes it easy to use uh, that client. Even though they did recently add the ability to add custom RSS feeds, the UI just doesn't work for me. Um, so you can also set your playback options like you see here. So um, when you disconnect or reconnect headphones, if you get a phone call, um, what your playback and rewind buttons do. So also so a bunch of um, settings there. Uh, what happens when you do get it when your a new episode shows up? So um, once a new episode is refreshed and let, downloaded, you can have the app automatically be added to your queued list. So um, there's continuous playback, and that's also an option. So if you want your episodes to continue to play as you're listening, you can do that. Or if you want it to stop when it's done, so you can listen to another episode um, separately, then that's also an option. Um, if you skip an episode and want it to stick around because you want to get back to it later, then that's also an option, as you see here. Um, you can have a smart mark as played, so once... Um, there's a certain amount of time left in the episode. If you want it to be marked as played, you can do that. I have it turned off just because I want it to be marked as played when complete. None of that smart AI driven stuff or anything like that. There's Chromecast support, which you can turn on and off if you if you use it or don't. There's a, a media player if you want to set how media playback is set. Um, you can set your refresh option as um, as desired, so you can set it to refresh every hour, a couple of hours, or anything like that. Or if you want it to refresh at a specific time of the day, so um, for example, if you only want it to refresh uh, first thing in the morning before you go to work, then you can do that. Your episodes will download, and then you're good to go. 
Um, and then also an automatic download. So once you get a new episode, then it'll download. And how many episodes to keep is also an option. So t- for me, 25 is kind of high, but that's a good thing. Um, episode cleanup. So once an episode is completed for my option, it will delete. But if you want a certain time after finishing in case you need to go back to it, that's also an option. And then downloading only when charging or not charging. It's a simple option. I've never really used it, but if you find that you prefer to only download when charging, then that's also an option. Um, You can also set when mobile items are updated. So, for example, for me, I don't mind if the podcast refreshes um, on mobile data, and I don't mind streaming or anything like that, but I don't want it to download on mobile so that's an option there and then you can set parallel downloads so if you only want to download one episode at a time that's an option or if you want to download multiple episodes at a time you can do that i set it to the default of, or i left the default of four so that's not really um something i'm worried about but um if you want it to be higher or lower you can do that um you can also sync your podcast and podcast subscriptions with g potter um I have an account, but I've been unable to um, set up the login to do that. So I haven't been able to test it because I guess it's timing out and the servers might be down. So once that gets up and running, then I'll give it another shot. But it does look like it has um, syncing options for backup and uh, potentially web playback. So once that all gets um, set up, then I'll give all of that um, a shot as well. But that's really the bulk of um what the app does um and then you can do you have the obvious things like auto delete when playback completes keep favorite episodes where save where items are stored and um things like that so um the usual stuff there i tried before to um um, export my podcast list from pocket cast and import it into g potter or sorry with um antenna pod but it did not work so that's one of the things that is kind of strange as far as why it didn't work um so i'm not sure what that is so i am had to manually um add my podcast but it wasn't too bad um the benefit here is that it does natively support um using for example um patreon feed so if you do um have an if you do support podcasts on patreon then you can import those um podcasts as well so for example you see that i support um cord killers um daily tech news show uh the morning stream so that's all supported and then the um if you as long as you have an internet connection you can also browse around to view um other um, shows that are, that are there or if you don't have a uh, podcast um, url to subscribe to you could always search for um podcasts for example if i want to sub- search for all about um uh, android you can s- search for that and um it'll come in you can subscribe to the video or audio touching it will give you um, information about the show episode listings and all that and then you can hit subscribe um so that's basically the bulk of it. I mean, there's not really too much else to say from there. So if you want a good podcast client um, that's open source, free, ad free, um, and has the most features that people use, then um, Antenna Pod is a way to go. The one thing that you would miss from transitioning from Pocket Cast to Antenna Pod is um, um, volume normalization, which using this app for now for another again for um about a day or so um i don't really miss it so um it's not something i've noticed that is a big deal to um miss especially since most people most podcasters now do some sort of volume normalization so no need to really it's not something that i quite um miss there either so just something to keep in mind when you're um listening to podcasts and of course there's the usual options here of um shaking to reset setting um um sleep timer um you can of course favorite episodes there if you hit settings you can set the playback speed um volume skipping silence and things like that so um 
the usual menu options there. So that's really all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, feedback of your own, something that I didn't quite answer that you want to um, check out or want me to answer, then you can find me on uh, Twitter at PatelN01.com. The website is PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And of course, this video review and all video reviews can be found on YouTube at YouTube.com slash PatelN01. Um, but that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next.